What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another. Well, I just hit the desk. Trailer reaction review. Today is not really a trailer. Something that I definitely wanted to watch to cover on the channel, but then also give my impressions and thoughts of what's actually going on with this whole The Last of Us for PS5, the remake, re whatever they're calling it, rebuilt for PS5, basically. We're gonna see features and gameplay in this trailer. It's a 10 minute long trailer, so usually I would give a score at the end of these trailer reaction reviews, but I'm, I kinda don't wanna do that for its long gameplay demonstrations just like this one. This could have been its own PlayStation Direct, but I'm thinking the way that this kinda got released at a Thursday night just to kinda not quiet the 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 talk that was going online but more so answer and kind of be up front for what was going on online because i think there was a lot of uh, missed opinions going both ways as far as what people thought this is were gonna be what it's actually gonna be and just kind of clearing up what's going on so let, without further ado we are gonna jump in and watch this the last was part one rebuilt for the ps5 video features and gameplay trailer so let's jump in and check it out set that play there we go now do note that you know i'm i'm i am going to be stopping it um here and there i, I you know because i got a lot to say about the last of us last of us the first one was my favorite game on ps3 and then the last of us part two my favorite game of all time in my top five games of all time uh, my favorite game, hands down, for the PS4. Played it on PS4, even though it's on PS5 now. I am going to do a replay through of that after this. After I replay part Last of Us Part 1, I'm going to go right into Last of Us Part 2, try to get that platinum. I say get that platinum, but I've never gotten a platinum <laughs> of any I'm game, coming. right? <laughs> More than two years ago, when we were finishing Last of Us Part 2, and we're working on those flashbacks within that scene for the first game. We mm -hmm. got excited with the idea of like, oh man, what if we made The Last of Us Part 1 to look as good, if not better, than what we have done with Last of Us Part 2, which mm -hmm. really pushed the boundaries of like what we could do from gameplay and a graphical standpoint. He and wanted felt it. Like he wanted it. If we do that, we could actually come even closer to our original vision of what the first game would have been had we not been constrained by technology. Mm. What was the original vision, though? The original creative vision of The Last of Us, I think in a lot of ways, was larger than what the PlayStation 3 was capable of. The tech of the PS5, it's like an open box of, of tools and goodies that we can play from and draw from. The 4K, HDR, improved haptics, 60 frames, help us to reimagine The Last of Us. Ooh. Bad. It gave us opportunities wow. to rebuild our characters at the highest fidelity. Wow. Not only are the characters more detailed, I mean down to the, yes. the irises and the pupil depth. You know, you fall into the eyes of the characters. Wow, it does look amazing. Aside from that, the facial animation is just way more believable. Like all the nuances, all the little subtle reactions, glances, yes. glares, right? Like you get all of it. Oh, this motherfucker. Almost closer to sort of the original yeah. performances. So no matter what, you stick to me like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Good. Good. We are able now to not only just have the highest fidelity characters in the cutscene, but also in gameplay. It's the same yes. character, so now we can do these yes. seamless transitions in and out. Every part of the game has benefited from seamless transitions and oh. motion scripting. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Yeah. Our stories happen in gameplay on a stick. She knew my mom. All this stuff is okay. designed to keep you constantly in this world. I never finished the Ready DLC, here. man. I need now to go back. Go. I can't wait to finish the DLC now. I can't wait. One of the things that the PlayStation 5 is really enabling Ooh. is that we're able to have a density of physics objects in a scene that we just we could never do before. Like this has always been <laughs> the dream is to have this number of bumpables, chippables, breakables, destructible okay. objects in a scene. It just makes the world feel rich, makes it feel lived in. Okay. Materials kind of have the properties that you'd expect. 
the turret truck okay. in, in Pittsburgh when it's firing at you and it's just ripping apart the concrete yep. and sending objects flying left and right. Seeing things okay. break. Like there's fear, there's a real fear that it invokes. And it's giving us a much more dynamic range of gameplay to play with. Okay. Surround him. Our AI tech has just increased incredibly. Oh, okay. What we were building the basis off of was The Last of Us Part II's AI. And it has sophisticated systems for things like the fundamental knowledge model of how these NPCs perceive and understand what the player is, is much more sophisticated. Okay. Ooh. Now how the enemies are communicating with each other, how they're chasing you, how they're flanking you, how intense that fight feels. It's so much more rewarding coming out of it from the other side. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is old. One of the other big AI improvements is the buddies. The Buddies technology that we developed for The Last of Us Part II has this very sophisticated understanding of like, okay, this is where the enemies can see their exposure. We not okay. only have exposure, we have future exposure. So Buddies can know, okay, that enemy is walking forward and they're about to round this corner. So in three seconds, that corner is going to be exposed. So I'd better move now oh, to avoid this enemy seeing me. This okay. really lets the Buddies make very complex uh, decisions and maintain that that feeling of stealth much more oh, believably. That is lit. Another that is lit. That is lit. Is that that is lit. This technology that called is motion fire. matching. Motion matching is this technology that's basically using logic that tries to match the desired movement to a bucket of hundreds of animations. Okay. mo capped actor has gone in and run this whole gauntlet okay. of movements to get a really full set of all the different ways a person can move. And then it's basically every frame trying to find the best matching animation that fits the path of where the character is going to go. And this oh, I hated this scene. Gives this really seamless sense of transition. The player's movement is just a lot cleaner, Ooh. really smooth organic movement through the oh. space. Okay, all First, right. We just had to build that core experience. And then beyond that, we wanted to oh, add several features God. that fans have been asking for. Matrix? For example, oh, we now photo have mode. permadeath mode. Permadeath? Fans have been asking for permadeath? Brand new speed run mode. Fuck so out of here. Okay, speed run. I just want to yes. see how fast they can play through this game. I understand Beyond that. that. We added a bunch more of Ooh. unlockables. So okay. there's all these different outfits for Ellie and Joel. That That's cool. Unlock a model viewer mode so people can really appreciate the details. Model viewer. winning accessibility features. Every single oh, okay. accessibility, accessibility that we offer, that's a barrier removed for someone. That's cool. That's cool. Apartment. Accessibility is cool. To Joel. She steps past the couch. He wears the wristwatch Sarah gifted him, which now has a cracked face. To my knowledge, this is the first PlayStation game that has audio description built into the game, built into the cinematics. I might have to now play like that. Joel to... stirs in his sleep. And that's really the way we've tried to push the frontier of existence. Just in case game. there's extra shit that I'm missing, bro. Like, that's dope, bro. That's fire. So much of the identity of The Last of Us is the world. Yeah, the world is, looks incredible. We revamped completely the art direction. You know, everything from these expansive oh vistas. Oh, my God. Wow. Not only are they beautiful, but you feel the environments. You feel the environments in a much more visceral way. The rooftops overlooking the Capitol building, for example, like just the, the breath of fresh air when you go up there and you just oh you feel that sort of release in, in tension. And then, you know, to juxtapose that, down in the, the tunnels in wilds and you get that dank, flooded tunnel feel, that humidity, you can actually feel it. All these- You can feel it, I bet. I bet you can feel it. <laughs> now we got our engine on the PS5, those haptics, the 3D audio, the fast Ooh. loading. It really creates a much more oh my God. Run, Joel, what the fuck? More emotional experience. One of the things I absolutely love with the 3D audio in The Last of Us Part 1 is being able to hear an enemy oh before my they God. on you. And trying to do a, a, a stalker fight with the 3D audio is just so much fun. Uh, you're fun? Hearing them Scary? Fun? In a different room and you're hearing them trying to get it behind you. Oh, hell fucking no. Having that two part reaction of like hearing, turning, seeing, reacting, it, it's just. No, really you hearing and then you react. You are in this character, you are in this world. <laughs> now, 
with the PlayStation 5, the amount of control that the oh, have come over on. the sense. It's really, really cool. All the guns in the Ooh. game have a variable amount of resistance on the triggers when you aim them. The way it works with the bow is oh, that Oh, hell no. I might have to turn that off. The bow, there's a little bit of resistance. And then as the bow gets tauter and tauter, the amount of resistance is increasing. And then when you release the bow, you're also getting that resistance going out of the trigger. When you are Ooh. aiming and firing the shotgun, you're going to get a haptic vibration on the shot. And then what I think is one of the ways that the DualSense really advances things is you're going to get a haptic vibration on the pump of the shotgun. Oh my god. And what's much more sophisticated about that on the DualSense is that Ooh. in effect has a little like speaker in it. <laughs> and it's playing an, an audio file that comes through in the vibrations. And those two beats... <laughs> as what you're going to feel on the controller. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm going to turn the, the sound off. This also ties in <laughs> to the new workbench. I want to I wanna, I wanna so hear it. No. Joel <laughs> taking apart a gun or screwing something in or putting a new stock on a gun, that moment where he's like jamming that on, you're going to get that haptic feedback on that. Oh, okay. We have, you know, haptics Ooh. all across the board, you know, for all the moments you kind of expect for Oh climbing, my jumping, God. landing. Meleeing, getting meleeed, like all those Ooh, kind of high I hate this snow part. We have represented Ooh, oh my god. What I personally absolutely adore is the way we can enhance the really like quiet, subtle moments of gameplay. So it's like when Joel goes in to pet the giraffe, getting that little <laughs> light touch from the haptics as he's petting the giraffe. Of course they added haptics while you to pet me, the that's giraffe. The essence of the last of us. It's the high tension moments, it's the low tension moments, it's all of it feeling <laughs> grounded. It's you're feeling immersed in this world. All, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm sold. I want to pet a giraffe with, with my haptics. Technology on the PlayStation 5 is allowing. <laughs> Was that everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. Yep. There's something special about that core experience of playing as Joel and Ellie on this journey. Then to take that experience and really honor it and Ooh. keep the authenticity of it. But elevate it in every way possible, whether it's pipeline, whether it's art direction, whether it's a technology, everything that allows us to make that experience better. Not different, Ooh. extremely better. That's why, to me, this is the definitive way to play The Last of Us. Okay. Not different. Better. Not different. Better. I'm, I'm kind of still on edge. A lot of stuff that we've seen, while it has been looking great, the, the, the big what the fuck, this is not a remake. It's more of a remaster that a lot of people are saying. They're calling this The Last of Us Part 1. We had to remaster it on PS4. Which I have here. Right. It's holding up, it's holding up my, my little guide that my daughter made for me, which you probably never see. You probably don't care. But I have the, the Last of Us. This is the remastered, right? And now this one is supposed to be a remake, but they're just remaking the graphics and adding haptic feedback and adding. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. They're not adding new, uh, like content wise, which they don't really need to. The last of us is kind of already full to the brim with content as far as that needs to be relevant to the story. And plus the DLC stuff. That, I, I mean, it doesn't really need new content. It'd be kind of cool if they tease something. Maybe a little bit stuff new that, that is different from the first game. But it, it, to me, they left no plot holes unchecked. Maybe a, a, like a new DLC where we got like the backstory of them too or something. Or like, you know, got to play as a different character and got something in a different perspective as like a, a side story, a new side story. That would have been cool. But... A lot of people who complaints online about the controls being the same as basically the last of us part one, meaning like you don't get the, the, the improvements with the prone, you know, gameplay and the dodge gameplay that we got from Ellie inside of the last of us part two, we're sticking to the, the same stuff Joel had 
combat wise inside of the last of us part one and my to my defense is, is like they said they they want the game to feel you know this look different but not play the same they want the game to inherently be the same and I think if you do add stuff like, you know, prone, a couple of other stuff gameplay wise that Joe could do that he couldn't do in the first round of the game, I think it does break the game a little bit where they do have to go in and then kind of change up a lot of stuff. A lot of, you know, scenes, adding more stuff that he could go prone under, adding more stuff that the, the AI can understand what to do in those situations. Granted, it is the AI is built on The Last of Us Part 2 stuff. Stuff, so they should have that kind of coded stuff in there but i kind of see where they're coming from it kind of changes the game when you have to add stuff like that so again it's the same game just looks different and they wanted to keep the same game that's their vision i respect that to be honest i mean it's a good vision i i love the last of us part one i love the last of us part two I can't wait to replay The Last of Us Part 1 because, I again, I can't go back to this. I can't. I tried, and I get so far in it, and I, I'm so I'm, I'm so done. This is... This version is good to play for me anyway. When I'm... When I when I need a Last of Us fix, and I got my PS Vita out, and I remote play from the PS4, PS3, and then I play it that way. Not the greatest experience, but definitely a dope in bed mobile experience if you need uh to have a last of us mobile experience and that scratched my itch for that and i did that a couple of nights and never went back to it after but again that's that's why i feel this game needs this needs this re remake granted how much of a remake it actually is it's it's definitely up to the eye of the beholder but let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm excited i'm gonna replay it Definitely, I'm getting it day one and definitely starting my playthrough here on the channel. So again, if you're interested in watching play through it, you could catch those videos here. Let me know what you think of The Last of Us remake for PS5 in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking The Last of Us trailer reactions. Pokemon, uh, Call of Duty, Fall Guys, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.